I believe that the problem of statistics is that we always try to be clever on something that we don't know anything about. So we're always trying to say, I wonder what is the probability of this happening or that happening. And there's always some uncertainty to it. So it will never be true. There will always be situations where what the statistic said is not the case. So take, for example, this die. There's one in six chance that I will get a six. Now, I could roll it and I'd get a six. Yay! And now I want to roll it again. There's still one in six chance that I'd get a six. So I'm rolling it. I did get a six. Yay! Now for the third time, nothing magical has happened to this die. I mean, there's still one in six chance that I'm going to get a six. But if we change the question, and that's where it gets a little weird. If we change the question and say, well, what is the probability of getting three sixes in a row, given that there's only one in six probability of getting a six in the first place? Well, that probability is one in 216. So only like a half a percent chance of the times would I be able to get three sixes in a row. So now I'm saying that the same dice roll have two probabilities. It's, well, there's one in six chance that I'm getting a six. And I'm saying, well, there's also only one in 216 chance that this time I'll getting a six. And both of those are true. And both of them are wrong. I might not get a six. I might get a six. And that's why statistics sometimes can be a little difficult to explain because we always have assumptions. There's always a chance that we're wrong. And I think you can use that to identify whether what you're looking at is a statistical problem. Statistical problems have two things in common. One, there's a chance that you're wrong. It's very comforting. And two, you're trying to go beyond the data that you have. You're trying to take your observation or your sample and say something about future samples, future outcomes, or you're trying to say something about the real world, how things might be. So our conclusions are based on assumptions. So when we have a statistical test, that test have assumptions to it. And assumptions could be like, your data is supposed to be normally distributed, or your subgroups have to have the same variance, uh, which is of, often in ANOVA. Uh, so let me know if you want videos on what kind of assumptions are used in the different kind of analyses and how we can overcome these assumptions. But uh, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want more content like this. But thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Bye.